I mean, how could that many people willingly participate in such a horrible thing and not report it? I just don't understand. Parents face the Brownsburg School Board. Some say their trust is broken. They shared their frustrations at last night's meeting, first meeting since prosecutors charged several school staffers. Police say a seven-year-old student with special needs was forced to eat his own vomit at Brown Elementary. News 8's Lake McGee is live outside the district's administration building with parents' reaction. Well, parents are upset because school leaders didn't tell them for two months about the situation uh, before even releasing any information on this. So parents that actually have spoken out uh, do have a list of demands that they do want met. So at the meeting, about a dozen parents stood in front of the school board. One mother says she wants cameras in the rooms, education for staff when it comes to discipline, and provide stress relief for all teachers. Others say this is a failure of leadership. Superintendent Jim Snap uh, apologized to parents last night. He says the Brown elementary principal found out about the incident last month through a text from a teacher. Snap says the principal then reported it and the district brought in the Department of Child Services. As we reported, court documents show a teacher told the seven-year-old that if he vomited, he would be required to eat what he threw up. Another teacher who was there provided a tray for the child to vomit on. After he vomited, a third staff member provided the spoon that the child was told to use to eat his vomit. These are the five staff members that have him charged. Sarah Seymour, Deborah Knipe, Julie Taylor, Christian Mitchell, and Megan Keene. Seymour and Knipe are both charged with neglect of a dependent, which is a felony, and failure to report, which is a misdemeanor. The other three are charged with misdemeanors. Abuse and trauma of any sort will not be tolerated by this parent, a majority of our community. If you see something, you need to say something, and we need to trust that you guys are all going to see, say something. Parents express that they are now terrified to send their children to school, but all agree it took the school too long to notify parents. And we do know that all of those five staff members that were involved in this incident are no longer working with the school district. I'm Lakin McGee for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.